Hi everyone, I'm Jacob Browning and today we're in the photo studio at Saginaw Valley State University and we're going to be talking about how you can get started with a couple basic light painting techniques. Light painting is a technique in photography that uses long shutter speeds to capture light trails. The light from these trails reaches the camera's sensors while the shutter is opening, capturing the light as trails instead of points. First, let's talk about some of the difficulties involved with light painting. Light painting challenges photographers to use their ability to manipulate ISO, shutter speed, and aperture to properly expose an image. That being said, you're probably not going to get the right exposure the very first time. Light painting can be about repetition. Repeating the shot until you have the right exposure, the right pattern, and the right tools to get the shot that you want. Additionally, it can be a challenge to get the focus right when you're photographing in dark conditions. With urban areas, this typically isn't the case. However, you'll run into some issues when you try to take photos in really dark conditions, such as uh, parks. In these cases, bringing along a friend to stand in front of the camera with a light solves the problem. Additionally, you can bring a camera stand and attach a light to that. With longer shutter speeds, blur can become a problem if you're photographing in windy conditions, um, if you don't have a tripod, or if you don't have a shutter release cable. For light painting, a tripod is absolutely necessary. In some cases, you can get away with leaving your camera on something sturdy, uh, but a tripod will allow you to get a wider variety of shots than is possible simply by leaving your camera on the ground. Sometimes even just clicking the shutter will be enough to blur your shots. Uh, in these cases, you'll want to use a shutter release cable or change your drive mode to a 10 or 2 second delay. Some other factors that can influence your shot um, include the type of light that you're using or the type of light that you're working around. In urban areas, um, you'll often have to worry about just ambient light being around. Um, to solve this problem, you can just simply adjust your white balance. Additionally, you'll have to worry about the time of night that you go out. So nautical dark versus astronomical dark. With nautical dark, you'll be getting a lot more blue tones in your shots. You'll also have to worry about the moon's presence. These are all things you can check out before you head out to take photos. So I really encourage you to check on the weather conditions, check on the phase of the moon, and just check on what time of night you plan on being out. These are all things that can help you prepare to take the shots that you want. Now that we've talked about some of the difficulties involved in light painting, let's talk about some of the creative things that we can do with this technique. Light trails. So light trails, this is the very basics of light painting. Shining a light in front of the camera while the shutter is open, this is the fundamental building block of every light painting photo. So get creative, see what different lights look like, play with your settings, play with different materials and see what you can do. One really common light painting technique that produces really cool results is using steel wool. So igniting steel wool creates sparks. And these sparks are really bright and they will show up on your camera's sensor. If you're having trouble coming up with ideas on your own, there's a vast community of light painters out there. People are always finding new ways to use light, creating different apparatuses, and so on. With light painting, you're only limited to your creativity. You can do light painting portraits, um, you can do abstract stuff, you can do anything that you're really interested in doing. 